let them call you crazy. They will look at you and they will say, what are you doing? Why on earth would you do that? Are you crazy? That is the response that we get from people when we tell them things that we are trying to do, when we tell them about our dreams, about our goals, about our actions that don't really align with the norm. You know, if, if you're doing something that is even slightly out of the ordinary, it doesn't even have to be that extreme. And you might tell a close family member or even your best friend or a close friend and their reaction is one where they even slightly disapprove and perhaps they're not supportive. They're not as supportive as you want them to be. And they might even call you crazy. Then I want you to know that this is just normal. This is just how people are. And it's not because your friends are bad. It's not because your family is bad. It's because as human beings, you know, as critical thinkers, this is a community of learners and thinkers, especially this community here. We are taught to analyze. We are taught to use critical thinking skills. I mean, critical thinking skills. I remember when I was in school, they always talked about critical thinking it was a big thing. Oh, you need to learn to think critically, learn to, you know, think for yourself, you know, analyze. And so when we look at other people and we see the decisions they make, we tend to judge and analyze. So people do that to you. So let them call you crazy. Do your own thing. Have self-confidence. Believe that you can do anything in this world and don't tell others what you're doing. You know, if, if you have goals or if you're doing things for trying to improve your life, as much as you want to share those things, as much as it feels like, hey, I want to tell people about the things I'm doing. I want to tell people about the great things I want to do. I want to talk about my dreams and goals. You have to be careful who you tell. You have to watch out for yourself. I sometimes think it's better. Many times it's better to just work in secret, not tell people what you're doing, and, and just believe in yourself. And that takes, that takes self-confidence, right? You have to actually believe that you can accomplish your dreams. You have to actually have confidence in your abilities. So that, you, so that you don't have that need to tell others what you're doing. Because when you tell people what you're doing, when you tell them your goals and aspirations and dreams, what you're kind of doing is you're kind of looking for some self-validation. You know, if you tell your friend, hey, I plan to do X, Y, Z. This is my new workout routine, or this is my new study routine, or this is what I'm going to do to learn X, Y, Z skills so I can get a better job. You're kind of seeking validation, and that's okay. That's okay. So that's normal, right? We all want some validation. We all want to be told you're on the right track. You're doing a good job. Way to go. You know, good work. Those are things that we need as human beings. And so to deprive ourselves of that and not tell others means that we kind of have to work in like this bubble. We have to work in isolation. So that means that you have to have an incredible force of will, an incredible self-confidence where you know that your actions are right. You know that what you're doing is the right thing to do. And you know that if you consistently work on your goals, you will reach them. So let them call you crazy. You know, believe in yourself, believe that you can do anything in this world and you will get there, you know, you will get there. And again, that takes, that takes an incredible amount of, of self-confidence, an incredible amount of willpower, an incredible amount of self-belief that you can do whatever it is you wanna do in life. And so the next time people call you crazy, the next time you're talking to your friends about your goals and dreams and, and they look at you and they say, what are you doing? Or your family tells you, oh, that's that, that you're crazy. Why would you do that? Why would you hang out with that person? Why would you apply for that job? Why would you, why would you major that in college? You know, why would you take those act? Why would you move here? You know, why would you date this person? Make your own decisions, stand on your own two feet and be strong. And that's one of the, the biggest life lessons that I think people need to learn, that you need to learn, my friends. And it's hard to learn it. It's hard. It takes it takes time. It's not something that, I mean, you might be able to flip that switch overnight after watching this video, but believe in yourself, right? Believe in yourself and, and don't let people's opinions drag you down. And if you have people in your life 
who are really bringing you down. If you have these people who are negative, who, who really just kind of put you down when you tell them your goals and dreams, then maybe you should stop. Maybe you should definitely stop telling those people your goals and dreams and maybe just pull back a little bit, right? Just realize that there's certain people that you just can't share certain things with because their reaction is always going to be a certain way. And you can try to change those people. You can try to convince them that your way is the right way. But when you do that, you're, you're wasting time and energy. That time and energy can be spent on improving yourself, on improving your own life, instead of trying to convince people who bring you down, right? So like, if you tell your friend, hey, I want to do X, Y, Z, and they look at you in a judgmental way, or maybe it's even family, and, and, and they don't support your goals, don't tell them anymore and, and hold back because that, my friends, is wasted energy. And I've talked about this before. Not only do we have 24 hours in a day, we only have so much energy in a day. And so when you when you use your time and energy for things that don't matter, you know, you're, you're putting your life on hold. It's not good. There's There's limited time and there's limited energy. Focus on your goals. Focus on making your life and the lives around those that matter to you better. And let people who call you crazy, let them call you crazy, but don't waste your energy on that. Don't waste your energy and your time on those types of people, on those types of relationships. And, and that's a big, big piece of life advice. There, there's a lot of people out there in the world who have really toxic friendships. They have really toxic family members, really toxic relationships. Life is short. And, and you want to make sure that you avoid those people and that you don't waste energy and time on those people. And that when you do find the good ones, when, when you do find those people, those good, those good family members, those good friends, hold on to them. And, you know, I, I've known people that think they have those good relationships and they don't. They're blinded. They're like, oh, I have this friend. And, and they, they tell me about their friends and they tell me about their relationships. And I think, wow, that's toxic. That's toxic. And this is this is their best friend, you know? So your friends and your family members should support you. Yes, it's normal for them to judge. It's normal for them to criticize, but they should not bring you down. So when they call you crazy, you got to keep moving forward. Protect your time, protect your energy. You know, kind of a rant video. I just wanted to talk about this because it's a common thing. You know, I, I was thinking about people I know and people I've known and stories people tell me, comments I receive, emails I receive from people surrounding this. And it's it's all the same. You know, protect your time, protect your energy. Check out my math courses. They're on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses. Links in the description. Check out my books. I've got all kinds of books. Uh, two really good books related to this video. Real superpowers that will change your life. The Center Manifesto. Those are two good ones. And I've got a bunch of other ones. Philosophy for Winners, that's one that'll open your mind, and plenty of others. Links in the description. Check out my other channels, Internet Sorcerer, Math Sorcerer Espanol. Follow me on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. Stay strong. Stay strong, my friends.